Now, I don't know what to think about this story. This is almost shocking. Remember Germany asked for its gold back like in 2012 or something, 20, early 2013, or maybe it was 2012, and they're asking it back from the United States and London, and I think, was it Paris or something? Was it another place they had it? The, the massive amount was in the U.S. and London. And we told them, okay, we'll give it back to you. But it's going to take us like seven years. Remember that? 2013 to 2020, seven years. You'll see your gold in seven years. We're going to give it to you at like 50 tons a year. And when the first year was due, we had given five. Five tons. There was a little uh, quirk, if you will. And then Germany ultimately said, well, we'll let's just worry about this later. We'll figure this one out. And we didn't really hear much else about that. So that was kind of odd. We gave them five tons of their own gold when they should have gotten 50. And in reality, they should have gotten all of it, 600 and something tons or whatever it was. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. 366 tons. Let's see. 600. Well, it says 673 total. Anyways. Zero Hedge has a very quite interesting article. Bundesbank repatriates gold from New York and Paris faster than planned. Now that's interesting. When you were supposed to be giving 50 tons a year back and you only gave five. It's very interesting. And then it was like, well, I don't know if we really need the gold back yet. Let's look this over. And then it was like in limbo. Whatever happened, we're like, well, whatever happened with that? Well, I think we have an answer now. In January of 2016, the Bundesbank announced that three years after commencing the transfer of some of its offshore gold held from vaults located at the Banque de France in Paris and the New York Fed in New York, that was London too, uh, it had repatriated a total of 366 tons. Bring the German Central Bank's gold reserves held in Frankfurt to 1,402 tons, or 41.5% of Germany's total gold, for, uh, of which is actually 3,381 tons, for the first time greater than the 1,000 or, or 1.347 thousand tons located at the New York Fed, which as of January 27, 2016, held 39.9% of Germany's official gold. So we still at the Fed, you know, which which country still has someone else's gold? The US. We still have thirty nine point nine forty percent of Germany's official gold. We still got it over here. It's it's kinda like it's both of ours. We'll just keep it over at my place. With approximately fourteen hundred three tons of gold, Frankfurt has been our largest storage location ahead of New York. Since the end of last year, said Carl Ludwig Thiel, member of the executive board of the Deutsche Bundesbank. Uh, the transfers are proceeding smoothly. I guess after that five-ton hiccup, <laughs> you might say. The transfers are proceeding smoothly. We have succeeded in once again significantly increasing the transport volume compared with 2014. This means that operations are running very much according to schedule. He said last January. As a reminder, according to its gold storage plan unveiled in January 2013, the Bundesbank would store half of Germany's gold reserves in its own vaults in Frankfurt by 2020. Which, by the way, is still scary to me. You still want only half your gold back. No, I think I like all of it back, to be honest with you. which would necessitate a transfer to Frankfurt of 300 tons of gold from New York and all 374 tons of gold from Paris. It also meant that as of January, another 111 tons of gold from the New York Fed and 196.4 tons of gold from Paris remained to be transferred. The politically correct motives for the transfer, as well as the logistics and the mechanics behind it, were explained in March 2015 video released by the Bundage Bank. The real reasons, however, is that following several reports on this website, Zero Hedge, 
which cast doubts on Germany's gold holdings. In late 2012, the German Court of Auditors demanded that the Bundesbank undertake an audit of its gold reserves. Specifically, the court wanted to ensure that the nearly 3,400 tons of gold, of which more than 2,000 tons held offshore, is in fact in existence because stocks have never been checked for authenticity and weight. Never. You're going to hold my gold and you're just going to, I'll pick up the phone every now and then and ask, is my gold still there? Sure is, I'm looking at it right now. Okay, thanks, appreciate that. Not even that. No authenticity or weight. We've never just been told it's there. That's all we care about. The move to repatriate was only was only accelerate. Maybe they meant accelerated following rumors that much of the offshore held gold might have been rehypothecated. You know, we needed that gold and used it somewhere else. And will not be there anymore. That it might have been melted down, leased, or sold. Ironically, at this at the time, Bundesbank board member Carl Ludwig Thiel told the Handelsblatt that these moves were a trust-building measure, and he tried vigorously to put the rumors about the missing gold to rest. Of course, repatriating your gold from foreign central banks is precisely the opposite of a demonstration of confidence. One might even argue, by the way, how long ago was it that we were at war with you? Not all that long ago. World war, mind you, not just a little war skirmish, a world war in which you were the enemy, Germany, according to our history books anyways, and we were your enemy. Now we're best of friends. We're going to hold your gold for you. Again, just keep it over at my place. It's, it's like it's both of ours. We'll just keep it at my spot, my house. Um... What made matters worse is that at the end of 2013, the Bundesbank announced it had managed to repatriate only 37 tons of the total 700 tons scheduled for redemption, further spooking the local population and suggesting that conspiracy theories that the gold was missing were in fact accurate. As a result, following blowback from both the media and the public, the Bundesbank accelerated its activity and repatriated 120 tons in 2014 and then another 210 in 2015, implying that the Bundesbank's faith in its foreign central bank peers had declined in inverse proportion to the following accelerated redemption schedule as of January 2016. And it says, to be transferred by 2020 from Paris, 373 tons, and from New York, 300 tons, total 673 tons. And so far, 2013, 14, and 15, they've managed to get about half of that. So the rest of it still needs to be transferred, according to this chart. Almost one year later, last Friday, Germany's Bild reported that in 2016, the Bundesbank Bank has repatriated more of its gold than planned as it moves toward relocating half of the world's second largest reserve at home. So I asked then, and I'll ask now, why all of the sudden do you want your gold back? Why did Hugo Chavez want his gold back? Why did some other countries also step up and say, we want our gold back? And Germany is, at least on paper, the number two largest holder of gold behind the United States. We are the largest, allegedly, followed third place by the IMF, which is shocking, isn't it? It's not even a country, and it's got the third most gold out of the entire world. All countries. IMF's number three. Seems to me like them countries know what's coming in the future. Our currencies must be backed by gold. We must have some kind of physical responsibilities in actually budgeting a budget, you know, make, you know following through a budget. Um, and we must not get out of debt or get into debt out of control because right now, the worldwide debt-to-GDP ratio is somewhere between two and three times. So the, so the debt is somewhere between two and three times that of GDP. How is it even possible to have a debt greater 
than the entire world's gross domestic product. It's not even possible. How do you get into that kind of debt without even having the money? The money has to exist first, doesn't it? Well, no, it doesn't. It's just accounting entries on the books of the central banks. So, in fact, we can create debt before the GDP is even there. And that's exactly what we've done across the world, not just in the U.S. Every single country is in the same boat. Fiat, unbacked currency, backed by nothing. And we've all printed to hell and back, bailed out our banks, everything else, just created this enormous amount of debt. So you know it has to end the same way for everybody. The debt has to be dealt with for everybody the same. And the solution's going to be gold, precious metals, backed currencies of the future. The fact that Germany has already started repatriating, and they're number two on the list of right most gold held, and they're trying to get this done by 2020. Next year's 2017. We're getting close. Again, it seems to me like they already, of course, they know in advance. And they're going to have, you know, for the new rules and regulations that will be coming out for the new currency or currencies worldwide, is that all member countries, you got your gold, you're going to have to hang on to your own gold. You can't have your gold in someone else's vault because we need to find out where your dollar stands against the rest of the world's dollars. And we can't have you telling us that it's somewhere else and trust us. We need it to be in your possession, verifiably for you and only you, not in some giant warehouse under Manhattan somewhere that has tons of gold bars that you can kind of say anybody at any given time owns them. If you need to say that GLD owns them, yeah, these are the GLDs. Someone else comes in from Germany to inspect their gold, yeah, these are yours over here. It's the same pile. Someone else comes from uh, France. Oh, yeah, we got yours over here, France. Come over here. Pepe Le Pew, over here, please. So, um, this pile right here, see this one? Yeah, right here, this is yours. Happy? Okay, have a nice day. Lo and behold, no one knows, you've been showing everybody the same pile of gold. And everyone thinks it's theirs. So I think when the currencies crash and they have to reset everything, there's probably a little rule that says everybody must have your own little pile of gold, and he who has the most gold wins. And I don't know about you, but China has had an enormous appetite of gold. And I still firmly believe they have way more gold than what's on paper. But I can't prove that. It's a theory, a conspiracy theory, of course. But I think that's why they're doing this. That's why they all are doing it, one by one, repatriate here. And I remember covering this, and I'd see another one, I'd mention it. I'd see another one, I'd mention that one. And like I said, Hugo Chavez of Venezuela was the first one. And I knew it, and I said, he pissed those bankers off. He's going to pay dearly. And he did. Fast-moving cancer wiped him out. His predecessor took over, and they had to sell all the gold off that he repatriated because they were collapsing economically. They had to sell off all their gold. The club wins again. You cannot defeat the club. And he thought he was smarter than these guys. Hugo. Mm. Mr. Chavez, sorry about your luck. And now the new guy, Maduro. Meet the new, you know, meet the new boss, same as the old boss. It's like a civil war over there right now. They had to call the uh, uh, National Guard out the other day to quell rioting, people, starving people. That's what the rioting was, starving people. Not sure how long that place is going to last before they get rid of him. But uh, I think once they do, all of a sudden, oh, the United States is lifting sanctions all of a sudden. And, oh, yeah, once we get our puppet person back in place, of course. Don't know if that'll happen with the Trump presidency. Is Trump about that? Is Trump about replacing puppet governments? You know, don't know. But I think we're going to find out. According to its gold storage plan unveiled in January 2013, the Bank would store half of Germany's gold reserves in its own vaults in Frankfurt by 2020. Which, by the way, is still scary to me. You still want only half your gold back. No, I think I like all of it back, to be honest with you. Which would necessitate a transfer to Frankfurt of 300 tons of gold from New York and all 374 tons of gold from Paris. It also meant that as of January, another 111 tons of gold from the New York Fed 
and 196.4 tons of gold from Paris remained to be transferred. The politically correct motives for the transfer, as well as the logistics and the mechanics behind it, were explained in March 2015 video released by the Bundesbank. Bank. The real reasons, however, is that following several reports on this website, Zero Hedge, which cast doubts on Germany's gold holdings, in late 2012, the German Court of Auditors demanded that the Bundesbank undertake an audit of its gold reserves. Specifically, the court wanted to ensure, for the first time, greater than the 1,000 or, or 1.347 thousand tons located at the New York Fed, which, as of January 27, 2016, held 39.9 percent of Germany's official gold. So we still at the Fed, you know, which which country still has someone else's gold? The U.S. We still have 39.40% of Germany's official gold. We still got it over here. It's, it's kind of like it's both of ours. We'll just keep it over at my place. With approximately 1,403 tons of gold, Frankfurt has been our largest storage location ahead of New York since the end of last year, said Carl Ludwig Thiel, member of the executive board of the Deutsches Bundesbank. Uh, the transfers are proceeding smoothly. I guess after that five-ton hiccup, <laughs> you might say. The transfers are proceeding smoothly. We have succeeded in once again significantly increasing the transport volume compared with 2014. This means that operations are running very much according to schedule, he said last January. As a reminder, according that the nearly 3,400 tons of gold, of which more than 2,000 tons held offshore, is in fact in existence because stocks have never been checked for authenticity and weight. Never. You're going to hold my gold and you're just going to, I'll pick up the phone every now and then and ask, is my gold still there? Sure is, I'm looking at it right now. Okay, thanks, appreciate that. Not even that. No authenticity or weight. We've never just been told it's there. That's all we care about. The move to repatriate was only was only accelerate. Maybe they meant accelerated. Following rumors that much of the offshore held gold might have been rehypothecated. You know, we needed that gold and used it somewhere else, and will not be there anymore. That it might have been melted down, leased, or sold. Ironically, at, this, at the time, Bundesbank board member Carl Ludwig Thiel told the Handelsblatt that these moves were a trust-building measure, and he tried vigorously to put the rumors about the missing gold to rest. 600, well, it says 673 total. Anyways. Zero Hedge has a very quite interesting article. Bundesbank repatriates gold from New York and Paris faster than planned. Now that's interesting when you were supposed to be giving 50 tons a year back and you only gave five. It's very interesting. And then it was like, well, I don't know if we really need the gold back yet. Let's look this over. And then it was like in limbo. Whatever happened, we're like, well, whatever happened with that? Well, I think we have an answer now. In January of 2016, the Bundesbank announced that three years after commencing the transfer of some of its offshore gold held from vaults located at the Banque de France in Paris and the New York Fed in New York, that was London too, uh, it had repatriated a total of 366 tons. Bring the German Central Bank's gold reserves held in Frankfurt to 1,402 tons, or 41.5% of Germany's total gold, for, uh, of which is actually 3,381 tons. Now, I don't know what to think about this story. This is almost shocking. Remember Germany asked for its gold back, like, in 2012 or something, 20, early 2013, or maybe it was 2012, and they're asking it back from the United States and London, and I think, was it Paris or something? Was it another place they had it? The, the massive amount was in the U.S. and London. 
and we told them, okay, we'll give it back to you, but it's going to take us like seven years. Remember that? 2013 to 2020, seven years. You'll see your gold in seven years. We're going to give it to you at like 50 tons a year. And when the first year was due, we had given five. Five tons. There's a little uh, quirk, if you will. And then Germany ultimately said, well, we'll let's just worry about this later. Let, we'll figure this one out. And we didn't really hear much else about that. So that was kind of odd. We gave them five tons of their own gold when they should have gotten 50. And in reality, they should have gotten all of it, 600 and something tons or whatever it was. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, 366 tons. Let's see. 